leagues. Let's go. All right, there's our first game of Soul Wars. It ended in a draw because it's literally impossible for anyone to get to the uh, boss enemies when everyone has Ice Barrage 2 ticks. So, yeah, I don't know if I ever see that uh, working out well, but I think Soul Wars might be the only reasonable way I can level up Prayer. There is a task for buying the Ectoplasmator, so I will do that. But real quick, I want to see what I can get if I do 100 tokens on prayer. There's 16,000 prayer XP. That's more than doubled my prayer level right there. Let's go ahead and contribute that again. 33,000 this time. Oh, it scales based on prayer level. I forgot about that. Okay, so we just unlock protection prayers from one game of Soul Wars. Yeah, I think I gotta go do more. So I'm not trying to say it's all my fault that we won, but it's all my fault that we won. I let a small infiltration unit behind enemy lines to take out their avatar. 320 zeal from that game and 40 points for winning a game of Soul Wars. So very awesome. I'm going to spend these on prayer again. I did a couple games on uh, mobile while uh, making and eating dinner and such, and we have 570 points. I really want to keep getting our prayer level up. I really like how much XP this gives, but I think now that we have all our protection prayers and stuff unlocked, maybe it's more important for us to get the spoils of war because these things can have some absolutely insane rewards for our account. Let's go ahead and buy uh, 10 of these. And then we'll open them up just so we can see what we get. Hopefully we can get some of the stuff that I need. Let's go ahead and run through these. Uh, a little bit unlucky so far. I mean, the rune arrows are pretty good for our MSB. That's one of the things I wanted really bad. Pure essence. Adamant bolts, that's another thing I wanted. So, um, all in all, pretty decent. I guess the nature runes are good. Now I can level my magic up passively while training. And now I can actually train rune crafting as well. Now what I was really hoping to get, you can actually also get runite bolts from here which would be super good for training, but I think Adamant will do for now. Actually, you know what? Heck it. We're just going to buy the rest of the Spoils of War. Let's keep opening them. We need more bolts, man. We, oh, wait. We got Runite Bolts. Nice. That's 124 Runite Bolts. And we also got some Herb Seeds, which is pretty cool. All right. I think that was well worth it. Almost 1,000 Addy Bolts, 100 Rune Bolts. And now I just need the Rune Crossbow. Oh, actually, now that we have a Rune Full Helm, we can equip Full Rune and get a Medium Task as well. Very nice. 20 Bird Houses dismantled, and we're doing Mahogany's now, even though I'm only a couple levels off, actually, of doing you. I'm so excited to get to the high end. Look at this. Just from this one trip, we got a Beginner Clue and a Hard Clue. I imagine once we get up to Redwoods, we're just going to wait. We can't do Redwoods. We don't have Zaya. Never mind. There's level 60 attack, which means I can equip the Dragon Scimitar, giving me a medium and a hard task for equipping a Dragon Scimitar, and then also just for equipping a Dragon Weapon. Thought I would knock that one out real quick, because that's an easy 120 points. And it means we can use the Dragon Scimitar, which we'll probably use pretty soon to go for our Dragon Defender. I might wait until the next Relic tier, because I think that's when we unlock four times drop rate, which will obviously make it a lot easier. Okay, I think it's finally time to try to upgrade ourselves to the Rune Crossbow, which should be an insane improvement over the MSB. I also just need to do general gear improvements. Honestly, this gear is rather embarrassing where we're at right now, but we're going to go kill steel dragons for the runite limbs. It's a one in 16. Hopefully we just get absolutely spooned here. I'm not sure if protect from magic will be enough to negate the dragon fire. It might be. If it's not, I'm going to have to flick back and forth between the anti-dragon shield, but I will do what I need to do to get these runite limbs. Let's go. We beat our first one, got a task for defeating a steel dragon, and yeah, as you can see, you're horribly burnt by the dragon fire. I do have to have the anti-dragon shield equipped, oh, or I'm going to take 30 damage. So I am flicking between it. I do get two hits with the MSB. It's actually technically zero tick loss if I play it perfectly. I am just constantly attacking with the MSB, which is kind of cool. Gaining XP in RuneScape is obviously one of the most satisfying things on planet Earth, but what if you could gain XP and level up while also learning and mastering backend development? Well, boot.dev does exactly that. They take the normally tough to learn and often boring learning process and make it actually fun and exciting. They have leaderboards, achievements, and even quests to keep you motivated to learn and it really feels like you're playing an enthralling RPG. They believe that the smartest way to learn to code is to make sure you never get bored and the program is designed to get you to write a ton of code since the only real way to learn is to actually get your hands on the keyboard and ship projects. I majored in computer science back when I went to university so I can absolutely confirm what they're saying here just trudging through chapter after chapter of lessons instead of just writing code will burn you out so fast. If you're still on the fence about starting a career in backend development there are a lot of benefits to consider. The median salary for back 
backend developers in the US in 2023 was over $100,000. Not only is the income great, but programmers often have the option of working remotely or from home, which is a massive benefit, especially if you want to AFK something on RuneScape while you code. With boot.dev, you'll learn backend web development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages. Plus, if you get stuck or confused, they have an active and fantastic Discord server full of people to help. So click the link in the description box and use my code to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That is 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription you choose. So thank you so much to boot.dev for sponsoring this video. Please go check them out if you were even remotely interested. They have a great program. There's even a demo right on the page. You don't need to sign up to give it a shot and see how you like it. Just to show you guys what that looks like, basically you wait till the ticky attacks, then you pull the short bow, equip the uh, shield for one tick while he attacks with a dragon fire and then switch back so it's basically two attacks with the bow instant swap into the shield and then instant swap back into the bow and hit if i have prayer left i stand in melee range and pray protect melee and it makes it so i basically take zero damage throughout the kill but when i run out of prayer i am unfortunately going to have to stand at a range because they can melee like 25s or something like that yeah so this is the strat if you don't have a two-handed weapon you can actually flick like me it is a pain in the ass but you know it's totally worth it yes there we go we got it at 11 kill count i'm so glad we got lucky this time because last league it took me oh man i wish i could remember i think it took me over 60 kills to get the runite limbs last league oh, i'll pick those lobsters back up so uh yeah needless to say i was a bit unlucky then but we're lucky now and we have the runite limbs let's go make a rune crossbow oh i'm so excited all right we've got our U stock do we have to use this on a no okay and then we use the crossbow string on it and there we go we have a rune crossbow which is 80 points and then equipping a rune crossbow is also 80 points we just got 160 points from that little grind and look at us we look so good i need to make some more gear upgrades just in general but man i'm so excited to have the rune crossbow so let's check how big of an upgrade this is i'm probably gonna use addy bolts for a little bit but let's just check out both so we got the msb uh msb to rune crossbow there's a 21 accuracy bonus which is pretty decent and uh the rune arrows give 49 strength the addy bolts give 100 the rune bolts give 115 so yeah as you can see the max hit is going to go up considerably and actually our uh what's it called our attack ticks are going to be exactly the same with the msb we've been attacking at two ticks rune crossbow on rapid is also going to be two ticks so this thing is going to be a nuts dps increase and i'm really excited to go test it out all right i've made myself a diamond amulet which we can't enchant for a few more magic levels but that's okay i can i can literally start elk actually i don't have enough for high elk but i do have enough for low elking so i'll just do this while i'm doing combat and i should be able to uh, get the magic level pretty quickly also we are going to tan this dragon hide and go ahead and make ourselves a set of blue dragon hide armor i'm being very careful to drop it so i don't accidentally process the whole inventory at once that'd be so embarrassing and i believe it's also a task to equip a full blue dehyde set and honestly i think there are red dragons in the brimhaven dungeon so we might as well just head back there and try to get red dragon hide armor as well uh here we are the rune crossbow is absolutely amazing uh, i love it so much it's actually insanely accurate it can hit up to a 22 even with this garbage gear setup so i'm really excited to get some better gear um, also, I just remembered I can build an altar in my POH. I think we can build up to a mahogany altar, maybe a limestone altar. I can't remember if we can get limestone. Probably, though. So we'll just save up all our dragon bones for now, and then in the future, we'll dump them all. I don't think 99 prayer will be that insanely hard. Well, here we go. Here's our red dehyde set, a marginal upgrade, but it is a task. And also, look at this. Our first time casting high alchemy also happened during that task. So bye, blue dehyde. We enjoyed you for like 15 seconds. And now, you guessed it, let's get full black dehyde. There actually are black dragons in my region. They're in the Taverly Dungeon. I'd completely forgotten about it up until now. But now that I remembered, I am excited to go slay some black dragons and get full black dehyde. We're going to feel so much better once we have that. All right, we got the magic level to enchant the power amulet, which is huge. I mean, it's not actually huge. It's just plus six range bonus, but it is something Okay, it helps out a little bit, and that's what matters. And there we go. Magically, we now have full black dehyde, and the red dehyde that lived with us for five minutes is gone, and we have another 80 points. Look at that. We're getting really close to the next relic. I'm actually so excited. So look at our setup now. We're looking a lot better. I don't have any boots or a coif. I think I can buy a coif, actually, in the range of guild. Probably should have gotten that a while ago, but yeah. We're looking slick. I'm really excited to start fighting some actual creatures. And there are our first U birdhouses. Very nice. Just one more tier to get to in magic, and then we are basically maxed out on birdhouse runs. And I think I'll keep doing them because... 
I mean, we're going to need bird's nests for seeds anyways. I guess I could kill mole, and I probably will kill a ton of mole, actually, for the tasks. But, you know, birdhouse runs are much more fun to level hunter than actually doing hunter. And in the next edition of atrociously easy tasks that I really should have done earlier, let's move our house to Taverly, which is 10 points. And then let's move our house to Yanil, which is 40 points. Yep, there's 50 points. I could have just gotten at any point. We did it. We caught a lizard. Thanks to our birdhouse runs, we're able to catch red salamanders and get another task. And there's a lesser demon dead. There we go. I leveled up my thieving a bit, did a couple thieving tasks so we could thieve from an arty knight. Uh, yeah, thieving will be a nice one to level up AFK, but right now it's pretty miserable, and I probably won't come back till we finish the arty medium diary to get that at least a little bit of a boost, because I fail so much at this level, and I don't see any other method of train thieving, besides arty knights anyway. So, 40 points until the next relic. We're so close. We just need 40 points. I'm just going to think of anything I could do to get points now. All right, I've been sat outside the magic guild just alking for a few minutes, mulling over what I should do for my next relic and it is a tough choice for me because uh, I am going to struggle with leveling certain skills with my regions like herb lore. I think I only have like two or three herb patches. I don't think there's anything that really drops herbs. I do have TOA which is going to drop herb seeds which is nice but I still am only going to have like two patches so I'm going to have to do herb runs religiously and so farmer's fortune would fix that problem. It makes it so that you get like three times the yield it patches grow instantly so right when i plant the seeds they'll grow instantly i harvest everything 25 times faster this basically makes herb lore absolutely a free skill uh equilibrium increases the xp you get like it's complicated i don't really know how to explain this easily so i'm just gonna say you get extra xp and then there's ruinous powers which just gives you the proposed ruinous powers from a few polls ago that actually passed but then they didn't put it in the game basically i get insanely good prayers like stronger than rigor augury and piety and some other ones that i'm not sure how good they are but i'm sure somebody will figure out a use for them like they are absolutely busted and since i can't get rigor or augury i think think that this is probably the best choice. I feel like I'm going to regret not picking one of these later down the line when I have to level up herb lore, but we're going through in his powers because it sounds insanely fun. And actually, I can't do this here. I have to be at a bank. All right, here we go. Ruinous powers unlocked. This is another reason that I really didn't want to go for Zaya. So there we go. We've got the ruinous powers change prayer book. Look at this. It's so confusing. I don't even have the level to use anything. I'm not even going to be able to use the spell book until I get 271. So it's kind of a moot point that I even up uh, unlocked this right now. And it's going to be so confusing for me uh, learning the repositioning of all of these and learning what the hell all of these do. But I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. When I go to places like Nex and TOA, it's going to be so nice having. Can I, can I just look at this real quick? What is the really good uh, ranged prayer? Here it is. Annihilate. 25% accuracy boost and 27% damage boost. I think that's going to be huge. And again, if I do end up regretting this down the line, oh well. I mean, it's fun at least. And I'm just going to start doing random stuff for points because, my God, we need a lot of points. There's observatory quest done. That was a task. And also filling this medium stash unit here, which I've been putting off for days, is also a task. Very nice. Okay, well, I'm trying to do the clue scrolls that we have, and I've come across an easy clue step where I need a ham robe. Not a big deal, right? Only one in a hundred. But now I'm over 300 pickpockets. With every single hand piece acquired multiple times, except you guessed at the robe. That's just how it goes sometimes in a game of pure RNG. And of course, my thieving level is only 61, so I'm still failing this quite a lot. And I must tell you, I am going insane. Oh, look, another hood. That's my, uh, let's see, that's my fourth one. Cool. Oh, I finally got it after 337 pickpockets. We can do our clue step, yay. And another little dry streak. Took about 30 of these wizards to get their silly robe top, but you know, it is what it is. All right, I've just finished going through all of our clues, except for the hard ones. I just don't want to do those right now. We're just going to open all of these up. We've got 17 beginners, six easies, and two mediums. So we're going to start with the beginners. You can pretty much spam click through these, although I do need to keep an ornament kit. So there's demon feet and gain 10 unique items from beginner clues, sandwich lady bottoms. Uh, we actually do need to fill in the entire collection log for one of the tasks sandwich lady top god i love the four times drop rates on uniques it's so good another sandwich lady top uh yeah this is just beautiful it's just so fun being able to spam through these beginner clues and then getting the rebate clues is so cool 
and uh, back to back on those stupid defense aimments. I'm going to move to a different tile so it's easier to find the ornament kit. It's actually kind of surprising we haven't gotten any. Uh, there's frog slippers and finally more frog slippers. So after 42 clues opened, we actually have 11 out of 16 items. Not bad. All right, on to the easy clues. Hopefully we get more uniques this time. Last time we did not get that many. Ancient page and mostly harmless. Nice. An extra easy clue. I just just spamming through these for uniques really it doesn't actually matter what we get i don't think any of these are too terribly important oh except actually we do need a full trimmed uh wizard robe set i think for one of the clue steps actually i'm just going to keep most of the uniques that i get just in case there are some you know steps that involve them because i'm really not sure oh yes also this is an insanely good item charge dragonstone jewelry scroll because i have no way to charge my glories or anything else i'm pretty sure so this is actually going to be insanely useful for us uh two more easy clues yay more unique items we like the unique items oh no i was going to keep the unique items all right medium clues we need ranger boots holy four uniques in one clue that's so cool that is so ridiculous like back to back into four more uniques in one clue wow time to do some more quests there's goblin diplomacy we're just going to work through the entire goblin storylines there's a lot of tasks locked behind that so let's go there's a lost tribe done which is its own task i actually did not know that and last up we have death to the dorgashun very sad quest but we have to do it. Gotta make sure to do the Tears of Guthix task while you are uh, doing Death to the Dorgashun. And I think Herblore is my lowest level skill. At least I really hope it is. What are we getting? 14,000 Herblore XP. Very nice. Puts us all the way up to 32, which with a 12 level boost is going to be 44. Does that mean we can make Prayer Potions? Uh, Prayer Potions 38. Yep. Very nice. And there we go. Death to the Dorgashun is completed which opens up a lot of tasks down here in the cave of goblin city so let's go gobble them up that was bad all right there we go pickpocket a bullseye lantern from a cave goblin and then lighting it is also a task which means i get rid of this horrible candle lantern and i believe eating one of these should get us a task i swear i thought there was a task for eating a cave goblin delicacy but i guess none of these are it Okay, I figured it out. For anyone that's confused, you have to start this little mini game down here where you sell random food from the overworld to these guys here. And there's like a one in three chance that they'll give you a special piece of food that you can eat for an easy task. All right, I only had five grimy renards, so I made some prayer potions. But look at this. It's really nice how it multiplies the amount that you have. So I actually have enough to have like six or seven prayer potions. I have to go get more snape grass. But yeah, I'm really glad I picked Production Prodigy after all because it's going to make things like prepping potions, obviously, for people. I'm much easier and now that I have prayer potions and decent I'm not gonna call it great decent range gear I think it's time we go and get ourselves a fire cape because in the inner city of uh, whatever the czar city is called there is so many good shops there that I can buy from and there are so many tasks that you can get that are worth an insane amount of points all right here we go here's the inventory no ranging potions but we should be absolutely decimating everything in there in like three hits from the rune crossbow so wish me luck here we go fight caves first attempt let's do it well i messed up a prayer flick oh my god i just died at what wave was that 40 so unbelievably stupid and what a waste of time but you know we're going back in yay i love fight caves all right i didn't do anything too stupid this run obviously by the lack of lobsters i did do some stupid things but not as stupid as the one before so we're at jad finally i think it's gonna go well i'm sort of tempted to go for the task to tank a jad hit i am under max hp so i could tick eat it but it's probably not worth risking after 36 minutes especially because we have to do like 15 fight cave runs anyways for uh some task points anyways so here we go jad time and here we go we're about to kill jad you know what i'm so tempted to go for the tank of jad hit without dying oh my god i'm going for it Oh my god, I got it. There we go. <laughs> uh, hopefully that was actually a ticket. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, 80 points, and then we also complete the fight caves, and we get the fight caves veteran combat task, and we get the elite task for equipping a fire cape, which is 200 points, and then if we go ahead and sacrifice this fire cape to get into the Tsar City, we'll get another 200 points, although part of me is tempted to go for the dragon defender first, because uh, you know, fire cape's obviously going to give us max hits, and we don't have super great melee, but so maybe we'll do that before we head to the inner city it's not like we're really close to getting our next relic anyways i hope i can do this task even though i have fire sales oh yes you can talk to him okay yes buy these iron sheets from me such a weird task use iron bars on this metal press and you sell 20 iron sheets to him who even knew that you could sell iron sheets to franklin karanos 
And we made a mithril grapple, which we will need later on, but yay points. Well, I needed something AFK to do while working out, and there it is. Chop 75 magic logs, and we're only six tasks until our next area, which is going to be desert. And that's going to open up a lot of fun, although I'm not so confident that I'm going to be able to kill most of the stuff that I want to fight in the desert. But maybe it'll open up some new tasks for us at least. Oh wow, first kill of Harpy Bug Swarms, we get the Steel Boots, which in this league, I must remind you, collection log slots are relevant. I think there are tasks that go up to, I think, 750 log slots. I don't know how achievable that is with the region locking, but it's probably possible when you factor in clue scrolls. I mean, there's like over 500 log slots just in clue scrolls, so we'll see if we we could pull it off. Maybe we'll be able to beat my, uh, what was it, Shattered Relics League. I think I got like five or 600 log slots there, so we'll beat it. I'm sure we will. Yes, this is what I've been waiting for, a Bloodveld task. This is so good. Not only will I get a task for killing Bloodvelds, but we finally have the chance to get superiors. We're just going to see a massive increase in our Slayer XP. It's going to be so good. So I was running some numbers in my head, and I've realized, wait a minute. It's actually way more strength bonus, I think, if I just get full obsidian. So I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this fire cape here. Let's go in. Oh, you don't even have to sacrifice to get in here. I'm sorry. You sacrifice it to go into the inferno. Oh, I wish I'd realized that like a few hours ago. Anyway, I've sold some more chaos runes, obviously, so I should be able to buy full obsidian here. I wish I had bought it unnoted. And then I'm going to buy all of these, I believe... That's all, oh no, and the shield. I believe that's all the stuff you need to equip for tasks. Let's see, obby cape, obby shield I need 60 defense for. There's that one was not a task, and then that one. So once I get 60 defense, that'll be a task. And once I get back to the bank, equipping the full obby armor will also be a task. Also, as you can see here, there is a shop here that sells diamonds and rubies for Tockle. So I will actually be able to buy a ton of these for Tockle to level my crafting up to, I think, 50 mil for the highest amount of points that you can get from it. And there's also an ore shop somewhere down here, which is amazing because mining is not exactly a quick way to get ores. I know a bunch of you are probably laughing, but apparently, you know, since I'm just not very good at looking, this is the ore and the gem star, and I've just gone and bought them when I was trying to see how much talk will they cost so coal is only 67 that's fantastic uh and then he sells iron he sells everything actually all the way up to rune i didn't even realize he also sold rune which is not worth buying for 5,000 tackle probably but yeah this is basically 99 smithing banks and it ensures that i can do all of my mining training just really efficiently somewhere without having to worry about banking the ores oh no i just looked at the skill guide you need 60 defense to wear obsidian armor too Oh my gosh, I really need to go get 60 defense. Okay, so a lot is happening right now. We just got a Black Boots collection log slot, defeat a Bloodveld task, reach combat level 75 task, and I'm trying to level defense, and I'm going to try and figure out if it's better to actually use the Rune Crossbow on long range, which is a 3 tick, or the MSB, which is still a 2 tick on long range. I'm not sure which one will be better. Probably the MSB. Usually speed is favorable over just a straight damage buff. But yeah, Bloodvelds are uh, they're kind of packed right now. This is a bit rough. Okay, yes, just in case anyone was curious, it seems like the MSB on defensive is better than the RCB. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, honestly, because I really want to get back to training melee. I'm actually really excited to get a defender, even though I won't be using melee that much this league. It's just kind of exciting. I want to see how it is with the boosted drop rates. Also, I don't know what this effect over these Bloodvelds is. I wonder if that's uh, one of the Ruinous Power prayers, which I also need to level my prayer so I can start using Ruinous Powers. That'll be a huge DPS boost. All right, here we go. Once we get this first superior, down i'm guessing imbued hard on first superior it is four times drop rate so it should be pretty common let's see our first superior creature down no imbued heart but we did get 40 points so that's good okay we just got back-to-back -back superiors i did not think i would ever see that happen all right it is one in 50 so i mean the chance of getting back-to-back -back superiors is like one in 1250 so you know it's still pretty rare to be fair but this one's the imbued heart oh my god wait we actually got the dust battle staff so we did <laughs> we did roll the superior table all right thank you very much game i appreciate that definitely deserved on 2kc here we go 60 defense that means one we can finally switch back to the rune crossbow and see our dps go nutty again but secondly we can wear that obsidian armor and we can get a lot of task points oh and we can wear the obby shield too so just get ready to see a lot of points okay here we go this is gonna be amazing we'll equip this and first up that's 80 points and then for equipping the full obby armor that is another 80 points so cool and plus this shield looks amazing and i think it's a huge upgrade from the uh 
from the anti-dragon shield unfortunately it does have minus eight range bonus so i won't be using it with the range setup probably but look at that we can now unlock a new area we all know what it's going to be it's desert literally everyone's picking desert find me one person who isn't going to the desert just one person i am i implore you to find them and once we get this area we will not be able to unlock anymore i know a lot of people were disappointed you couldn't get a fourth area but I, i'm fine with three i think that's acceptable so there we go we can now go to the desert and that auto completed below ice mountain i actually didn't know it would do that i was gonna do that quest for a couple of tasks and i'm glad that i was really lazy and put it off because uh, that means i don't have to do it so yeah as excited as i am to have the desert there's still a lot of stuff i want to do in the areas i have now so we're probably not heading there right away all right i've got a great plan in place now we're going to do some more mahogany homes until uh well i'm going to just try to use most of my teak planks and steel bars here we're going to get our construction level up for a few tasks and so we can make a limestone altar and level up our prayer finally after god knows how many hours we got the camo top prime fashion scape has been achieved and i'm kind of disappointed there's not a task for wearing one because i worked really hard for this thing well there's our last contract for a little while for a lot of reasons first up let's talk to bob my favorite homie bob there is 80 points for finishing a uh, expert contract over here and expert contract sorry and if you look at our reward points we have 370 so we can come over here and talk to amy we should be able to buy the plank sack which is another medium task and a collection log slot cannot be overstated how important collection log slots are all right it's coming to fruition the reason that we uh spent all this time training construction let's build a mahogany portal there's a medium task and then we can also build a limestone altar right here which is the best one we can build since i can't get like marble cloths and stuff and what do we need for these by the way oh you could just do like steel bars i don't think it matters what kind of torch you use here but yeah now i could train prayer in the poh let's see how much xp we get per dragon bone all right we've got ourselves a good i forgot the tender box okay yep that's that's so me as i was saying we got ourselves 22 dragon bones i hope this is enough to uh actually get us to a decent prayer level and here we go. I forgot about the update. I could just use the bottom inventory. How much XP is that? 2,300 per bone. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if one inventory is going to get us super far, though. I just want to have high enough prayer to start using my ruinous powers. Let's see what we get to here real quick. We got up to 57. That is not enough. All right. There's a lot of blue dragons taken down. Let's see. 95 dragon bones ready to go. And I'm also going to tan all of these blue dragon hides. I think there's a task for making 30 blue dehyde bodies. Let's see. All right, last inventory right here. God, I love Production Master. And, yep, there we go. Craft 30 dehyde bodies. 80 points. All right, we just finished using all of them. We're only 500 XP off a level, but that'll do. We can now go switch to our Ruinous Powers, and we should be able to use all of the... Uh, lower tier boosting prayers god what is this item called where is it oh how creative it's literally called ruinous powers that's <laughs> oh and you could wield it wait oh that looks kind of cool if it weren't for all the weird clipping okay let's switch to the ruinous powers change prayer book and there we go we can now use all the low tier prayers we don't have protection prayers unlocked i need all the way up to 71 to get all of those but look at this increase range by 20 percent. so it's a five percent improvement over eagle eye same with uh you know the piety improvement and the uh, magic improvement so pretty good i guess i We'll go use this to start training oh okay third superior we actually got a missed battle staff um that's interesting all right i will take it i guess thank you game wait is this a task for wielding this it is a task there we go we just got 160 points just from getting that missed battle staff drop i guess i could have equipped the dust one as well i didn't think about that oh yes yeah, since we've got al karid unlocked we might as well knock out these tasks that i've been waiting 400 years to get we can now equip a full myth set and a full adamant set i mean it's only 50 points but i've been waiting to do this okay and it feels nice time to just run through a bunch of the super simple tasks that are in al karid i'm not going to show all these because you'll all get extremely bored i bet i know i will just running around doing these but at least it'll be satisfying to see the task thing keep popping up Okay, this one's important. The golem quest completed. I just needed to flex that I did a quest. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, I just want to mention how funny Production Master is. Look at this. I was making the demonic sigil for Shadow of the Storm, and it made an extra one and put it in the bank. Like, okay, thanks. And Shadow of the Storm done as well. I did another quest. Be so proud of me. I love when they just bombard you with tasks. Take a carpet ride from Palm and Beach to soften him. Enter soften him. And then now I'm going to get like five tasks from Pyramid Plunder. If I had higher thieving, I'd get even more. But hey, here we go. And here we are on the last floor. I decided to actually loot these because it's really good thieving XP. And let's loot this one for another task from five look at these tasks there's one for every single floor <laughs> it's a little ridiculous but i love it and i've just realized something i don't think pyramid plunder is an instant so i wonder if i teleport out will it save it on my crystal of memories i don't think it did because i think the message would have popped up let's see if i use the crystal of memories where is this going to bring me to 
Ah, oh, that would have been awesome, though, if you could just teleport straight back into the top floor. Anyways, there's a bunch of tasks. Here's a task for slaying a dust devil, and I just know I'm getting the dragon chain body. Oh, never mind. Hey, we actually just hit steel rank for hitting uh, 10,000 points. Nice. We're doing great. We're already up to steel. Next up is Mithril, just a measly 8,000 points away. We should have that, like, by the end of the day. And the most important quest of all time completed, Prince Alley Rescue. I know what you're thinking. How is this quest the most important of all time? And let me tell you, my friend, because it means we can squirk. So I'm sure everyone here knows what squirking is now after the uh, after the big squirking debacle of 1972. And, uh, yeah, we're basically going to get some squirk juices, and we're going to bring them to Ozma and turn them in and get ourselves some league points. So let's do it. So I was just thinking to myself, you know, I'm going to try to get as many league points as I can during this uh, during this league here. And so why not go for all of the squirk tasks right now? It's not like any of my future relics are going to help me do these ones, and I'm going to want to do them anyways. Plus, leveling thieving without trickster is absolutely miserable. So let's turn in the winter squirk juice. That's 363,000 thieving XP that I just got from all of those squirk juices I turned in. We get two tasks, one for turning in a winter one, one for turning in ten spring ones. That's 70 thieving, and that's the exact reason I figured I'd do it now is just like I'm gonna get a ton of thieving levels from this if I do it after 99 like what's the point also 1500 total on the dot 80 points as well that's absolutely beautiful and it means that the cooldown for our uh, crystal memories here is now only one minute which makes it a lot more useful at 1800 it's no time at all I cannot wait for that all right we're turning in our autumn squirk juices for the task and our first summer squirk juice which was also a task somewhere I guess it went away because I hopped worlds but Osman, it's squirking time, baby. There's 500,000 XP, and I guess that wasn't enough. Wait, please tell me you don't have to turn in 25 at once in one go. So I just wasted all my time. That was all wasted. Okay. I hate my life. Okay, so I'm looking through the tasks, and there's one for turning in 50 summer ones, but that doesn't obviously can't be in one go because you don't have that many inventory spaces. So why'd they make the other one in one go? That's so obnoxious. Jagex, please rethink D this. Like, I just want to let you all know, gathering 25 of those squirk juices from there genu genuinely took me like an hour. Like, that's an hour of my life wasted because Jagex thought they were funny. Well, I'm working on the Ardoin Diary, and I've got the materials to make most of these little dudes down here. The only one I can't do is the Jubilee. I gotta do a couple quests for that one. But, while we're here, might as well nab these. There's a medium task. There is a hard task. And there's an easy task. Plus a collection log slot, the Rune Satchel. Oh, my goodness. Well, we have a lot of Slayer points, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock Broader Fletching, uh, because that will allow us to buy Broad Arrowheads right here. Yep, let's toggle. I guess it doesn't matter if they're noted, but yeah, that's 5,000. God, you buy them so fast. Uh, we're going to be able to make a lot of Broad Arrows, and that's already too many right there, as you can see. These should give a generous amount of XP. All right, let's see how much we get per batch here. Yeah, 1,800 XP per batch of these made, and that's a 40-point task, so I'm basically just going to be doing this in my downtime when I don't know what else to do. We should be able to get 99 fletching from these quite quickly. All right, I had to do this for the Arty Diary, but I figured let's finish it because they have uh, up the drop rate of Angler's Outfits, so it should be, like, really common. I don't know what it is in the main game, but it should be really common. Right now I have four times drop rate, and there's a 10-point task. Come on, Angler Outfit piece. <sighs> All right, are my strawberries alive? My strawberries are actually alive. I'm so happy. We got 300 farming XP per strawberry. That's awesome. But more importantly than the stupid farming XP is when I teleport to Artie here, we should finish the medium Artie diary. Let's go get our reward. And that means that our thieving chance in Ardoin will actually be a lot better, which is fantastic. So I think I'm just going to chill and AFK some Artie nice to level up our thieving. So we have a ton of points waiting for us at the uh, pyramid, the pyramid in the desert. You know the one that you steal from? The pyramid? I don't know what that pyramid is actually called, to be honest. Pyramid plunder. It's the name of the mini game. I know that much, at least. Anyways, we're going to go for a Pharaoh Scepter soon, probably. I don't know if there's a task for it, but if we could just get 91 Thieving, we're going to get an ungodly amount of points. Plus, we get an XP Lamp here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put my XP Lamps on. Probably Herb Lore, I imagine, is going to be the hardest skill for me to level. 30,000 XP and 90,000 XP. What did we get up to? Level 53. Not bad. And there's 81 thieving. Fantastic. That means you can do up to floor 8 of Pyramid Plunder. Hopefully that gives us a lot of points. I think we got up to floor 5 last time, so we should be getting 3 more tasks. And uh, we're 4,200 points till the next relic. I really want to get that relic today, because after that one, I feel like we'll pretty much be able to do whatever we want, since we'll have the highest XP boost possible. The only thing we'll be missing is the last relic tier gives uh, from 4x to 5x drop rate. So that'll obviously be good for grinding for stuff, but it's not like the most important. 4 times is 
is still insanely good. You know, I forgot there's only eight floors, so we actually only got two tasks from that, but it was a medium and a hard, so it's 120 points. Not too bad. So I just realized that since we have Desert Unlocked, we have Ancient Magics Unlocked, and there are a couple tasks associated with that. Cast Ice Rush, but if we drink a Wizard Mind Bomb, yep, we should be able to also cast Ice Burst. So that's 120 points, and uh, yeah, the next task of doing Ice Blitz is 82, and then Barrage at 94. I just... Uh, don't think we're getting there anytime soon. Just mined 30 granite, and I was doing the tick minute method, and I have to say something messed up. It was kind of fun. All right, just ran to the Warriors Guild and defeated some animated rune armor to get myself 80 points in total and 200 Warriors Guild tokens. I'm tempted to just stay here and get the Dragon Defender. I know that it's like going to take a little while, but it'll be so nice to have it. So I think I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to start going for the Dragon Defender. We just got our first one, the Bronze Defender. And I think at our current drop rates, it's 1 in 12 to get a drop so it's, it's really not that rare this should be quite simple to bust through also i am over 60 per so i should be able to use chivalry but i think i still have to do the knight's ways training grounds a little bit worried about doing that with my stats but maybe we'll be able to pull it off also it's been so long training melee for no reason without a dragon dagger we need the dragon dagger this thing's really good and also i just want to check out what Eric soul sells i've never been to the shop Ruby rings. Oh, I'm just trying to get restore potions for the uh, for the nice waves training grounds. But we got the red satchel collection log slot. I know you're also proud of me getting collection log slots. It's so impressive. Finally, we're done. Oh my God, look at those XP drops. Maybe I should have done this earlier. Holy moly, we got up to 69 attacks, 73 defense, 78 HP, and 66 defense. Yeah, I probably should have done this earlier. That's a little embarrassing. Anyways, chivalry unlocked, only five levels off piety. We're looking strong. Oh, and there's a medium task for using chivalry. All right, that was beautiful. I just got black defender and then back to back into the mithril defender. God, there's no better feeling. And now we're just a couple off of getting that sweet, sweet dragon. Also, so glad I took the break to go get chivalry. The extra levels that I've gotten and the prayer itself have increased my max hits by so much. And there's our rune defender. We can leave this room forever and let's throw this trashy, trashy adamant defender on the ground and head to the basement where we can get our dragon defender at a rate of 1 in 25. That is so much better than 1 in 100. Hopefully we can get it nice and quick and then we can move on to other things because the points per hour on this are admittedly pretty rough and look at this dude down here getting his defender he just got his defender so proud infernal cape bandos like what are you doing you gangster oh finally there's the dragon defender we did go a bit dry on this one dry i mean it's leagues you know even going dry on something doesn't feel that bad and let's throw it on dragon defender 80 points baby and we look so good we look so strong this melee setup is sick although i might need to swap this out for an amulet of strength but other than that god we look good all right, we're going to do an Obor Killer 2 for the uh, Diary. No, for the points. Sorry for the points. But there is a 1 in 29 chance to get the Hill Giant Club, which is absurdly common. Uh, once we get the next drop rate increase, it'll be only 1 in 23, which is just absolutely amazing. And these kills are just going to fly by with the busted Rune Crossbow, most overpowered weapon ever created. Honestly, they should nerf it, in my humble opinion, but I don't think they're brave enough to do it. And there we go. He is dead. One kill count. No, but we did get a task. And, oh, there's a task, Smith 1000, Mithril Dart Tips, and I'm actually just going to go ahead and work on a little bit of smithing, because with that, we also hit 70 smithing with our boost level, of course, which means we could smith Addy Bars, and there's a task for, well, smithing 1000 Adamant Darts, and then there's one for 1000 Rune, and so on and so forth. So I think we might go ahead and just do some smithing training. Really should have gotten this before I did all that Dragon Defender grinding, but... We need to talk to the Mysterious Bandit. Since it auto-completes Desert Treasure 2 uh, when you unlock Desert, you can actually come straight here and get yourself the Ring of Shadows, which gives plus 4 in every attack bonus, plus 2 melee strength, and plus 2 prayer. So it's basically my best in slot. And then, of course, I can get you know as many extras as I want because I will totally never die doing any of the Desert Treasure 2 content since I'm very good at the game. Totally. Also, now we can go into Ali Morrison's rune shop, and since we have infinite stock, I can actually buy as many... No, I, ca I can't. I thought I would be able to buy as many runes as I wanted, but they really do disappear from stock, which kind of sucks. So I think every time I want to buy more runes, I have to come in here, go through all the dialogue, and do another Sudoku puzzle. Thankfully, because of Cheat Light, Rune Light, I can actually just go right through this and uh, solve it in about 10 seconds. So it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm feeling a little quirky right now. I'm going to go ahead and try to kill the Leviathan at least once. We'll see how it goes. I made us some enchanted diamond bolts and some enchanted ruby bolts since we have really high proc chance, and we're firing every two ticks, which means this should absolutely pop off. I've even got the runes 
for Shadow Rush. Let's see how this goes. I, I hope I could pull this off, honestly. <laughs> what are these bolts, dude? Three ruby bolts nearly in a row. We've already got it down to 66% health. Uh, okay. Oh, there's another one. Why not? Still hitting 100s. Oh, my God. This is going to be so fun. It's already in the final phase. Okay. Um, and then we should be able to absolutely obliterate through this final phase. Oh, God. It's been a while since I've done Leviathan. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't die. I don't want to run back here. I don't want to run back here. I'm so scared, dude. Oh, I'm in melee range. I think it can melee me now. Oh, yeah, it, it meleeed me. Oh, wait, but I killed it at the same time. Do I get the task? Do I get the task? No. Okay, there we go. That kill was much better. And there is one kill at Leviathan for 80 points. 56 diamonds is pretty cool, too. That's more diamond bolts to be made. I think I'm going to do a little bit more because that's really fun. Look at that 47-second kill. And our gear is absolutely garbage. We're not even using the Ruinous Powers, which will give us so much more DPS. I'm just really excited to do PVM. This has reinvigorated my excitement for this league a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Oh my gosh, wait, look, Leviathan drops ranging potions and prayer potions. I forgot about that, so that's a way for me to get those. And I think I'm going to use the ranged potion while fighting it, because why not? This should make this fight a lot smoother and a lot easier. Hey, there we go. We got the scarred tablet. That's great. That means we have a teleport back to this place. I guess we could put it on the Ring of Shadows real quick. And boom, we could teleport here. I don't really remember how you charge this thing. With a bunch of bunch of runes, maybe? Something like that? I don't know if I have the runes, but yay, we could teleport here. Although we do have Last Recall, which makes it a little bit redundant. But look at those ruby bolts, man. Our range level's going up so fast. I feel like we're going to be 99 in no time, just because of those ruby bolt specs giving like 9,000 <laughs> XP a hit. Okay, yeah, that was my fastest kill yet. And we got a chromium ingot. Okay, 40 second kill timer, by the way. <laughs> ridiculous and at 19 kills we get a chromium ingot which sounds super spoon but actually the drop rate with this multiplier i believe it's a 1 in 24 chance for us to hit the unique table so only a little lucky and actually that is a collection log slot which is amazing and unfortunately it doesn't really mean anything to me because i cannot make the venator ring i need to have the fremenic area unlocked to get myself an archer ring drop so it is just kind of a collection drop and uh, it does look cool though it's pretty cool to have a chromium ingot on the league's account already okay that's a fat that drop right there 135 onyx bolt tips that means we can make enchanted onyx bolts which i think have the effect of healing you when they proc so uh that should be an insane bolt for us to unlock i'm not sure what kind of runes you need for it or what magic level i'm going to need to enchant them but just knowing that we have that option in the future is pretty nuts and i kind of just want to stay here until i get one more dragon javelin head drop because there is an elite task for uh putting together 100 dragon javelins so if we can get that that's 200 points oh we got the smoke quartz somewhere there it is smoke quartz on uh oh, geez what is that 24 kill count not bad now that one might be lucky i don't know if that drop rate's boosted or not but but either way, very cool. Another item that I don't know if I'll ever use, but it is cool to have. All right, the drop rate on this must be boost. We just got another smoke quartz at 38, and we still have not gotten another dragon javelin head drop. I think it's like 1 in 12 or something, so... We're bound to get one eventually, but at this point, I think it might just be good to go for the 50 kill count task. Also, I could probably switch back to the normal spell book. I have not had to use smoke or shadow rush, sorry, all but once, and that was at the start. I'm 93 range now, and with a plentiful amount of ranging potions, these kills have been smooth as butter. They're almost always under one minute, which is just awesome. Oh, oh, it's so beautiful. 225 dragon bolts. That's another drop that is just nuts from this drop. So once I get uh, high enough fletching and magic level to enchant these, they're going to be unstoppable. They're even stronger than the normal bolts. They have such a high strength bonus, so my damage will just increase a lot. And there's one more thing I wanted to say. Last kill that I did, I actually got a double bolt proc, which means that I got the 10% chance to hit twice with the uh, crossbow. And then I also hit the bolt proc chance on both of them. It was an 18,000 XP drop. Maybe it was 19,000. Either way, it was so beautiful, and it did 200 damage in one attack and i just wish i could see that again all right new pb right 38 <laughs> seconds dude i love this so much and just keep in mind we're still using a normal rune crossbow with just like all we have is just the ruby bolts and the diamond bolts and it is able to kill the leviathan this fast and we still have two more relic tiers to go through both of which are going to be combat relics that make us much much stronger this is so fun seriously well here we go 50 kill count at the leviathan 
an uh, awesome drop. I'm really excited to see more Dragon Bolts. I mean, I have 50 kills with only getting those stupid Dragon Javelins once. That's a hard task, at least. It's 80 more points. But man, how long am I going to be stuck here? I only have 9 Ruby Bolts left. I need this drop. Well, I'm out of Ruby Bolts, and that entire kill was without Ruby Bolts because I just don't have them anymore. And it was still only a 107, so the, the range is still just this stupid powerful, even without the Bolt procs, which is exciting. But... I need more ruby bolts, so we have to go change our spellbook back and enchant more ruby bolts. Yay! Oh my god, a 35 second kill. It just keeps getting better. Also, we're 57 kills without getting another one of those 1 in 12 drops, so, uh... Pretty interesting, but, you know, that's just RuneScape for you. I love this game. Smoke Quartz number three, baby. Actually, I can access that chest, so I can actually use the chest to turn these in for rewards. I wonder if there's anything from them that's actually worth getting. We'll have to check in a little bit. Finally, there they are, the Dragon Javelin Eds. I've been waiting for these beauties for so long. All right, I'm going to finish out this trip just because I'm having so much fun, but finally we could do that stupid task. All right, let's use these smoke quartz on the ancient chest down here now that we're done with Leviathan for a bit. I'm sure we'll get another 15 or 20 of these just by grinding the boss, but let's see exactly what we can get from these. I swear to God, if I get more Dragon Javelins after just, you know, spending that much time going for them, I swear. We got some gold ore. Ooh, Dragon Bolts. That's really good. And and some smoke runes. All right, not too shabby. All right, we're about to finish our first game of Guardians of the Rift. Hopefully, I can turn these in before he finishes up. Yes, we did. All right, let's see how much XP we get for the final blow. Let's see. Come on, slam that scepter down, buddy. I'm braced. I'm so braced. How much XP we get? 23,000. And then, how do the points work? Okay, we got five and four. So, it doesn't look like the points are multiplied, but I've heard that the amount of pearls you get are multiplied and obviously the drop rate of everything is much more common that's guaranteed on your first search we only got four so yeah oh, oh yeah okay the pearls are multiplied that is for certain we just got 70 from one pull so uh yeah that's pretty nice and i don't remember the exact cost of all these things okay so i bet if i stayed here for a couple hours i could get pretty much all of the rewards here but i'm not sure if i want to do that but i might stay for a couple more games to level up our rune crafting a bit more so i just spent god knows how long on mobile training smithing with the bronze bars into bronze dart tips and i've had an epiphany you can actually just go and buy like rune plate bodies from edgeville and addy plate bodies from the champions guild and go to giant's foundry i forgot you don't need bars for that you literally can just do it yourself so i should probably do that we got up to 75 which is 87 with a boost so we can do a lot of smithing challenges but Giant's Foundry also has a lot of challenges, so let's go give it a shot. And there's the quest done, plus a 40-point task just for finishing the quest. And now I'm just really excited to see how this goes with the plate bodies. And also, you need a bucket of water every time. I never knew this because I always had the ice gloves on all my other accounts. And so <laughs> I actually have to take from this pile of buckets a bunch of buckets and fill them with water because every time you start a sword, it's too hot in there. So you need to have a bucket of water. I just never knew. All right, we're almost done with our first sword, which was made out of, I think, four room plate bodies and three eddy plate bodies. We should get a good amount of tasks from this, and let's see the XP drop as well. A quarter million XP, and uh, let's see what tasks we get. We got a 50 quality sword, 100 quality sword, 150 quality sword. I think that's all of the tasks for the uh, quality of the sword, and let's go into the shop. We got 800 reputation from just that one sword, so it shouldn't really take too long for us to get the Colossal Blade, which I believe is another task. I'm not sure if the Smith's outfit is a task as well, but yeah, that's pretty nuts. I do know that collection log slots actually matter in this league, so maybe we will also go for everything from here. I don't know if I'm going to do it all now, but it does seem like it's going to be pretty easy. You know, I've always been actively against splashing just because I was like, it's kind of a waste of time. There are better things to AFK, but honestly... I need to go, like, take a shower. There's things I have to do in real life. And now that the logout timer is a thing, I think I could just stand here splashing for 25 minutes straight. So I think this is the most efficient use of time where I can't have the game open at all. Hopefully this will level our magic up because we really need magic levels badly. It's 400 XP every five ticks. It's not that bad. Okay, so basically a lot of the time today that I've been on, I have just been splashing because I had so much, like, editing work to do and back-end work. We're 85 magic now from splashing, which is fantastic. Uh, it's not quite enough to get up to level 87 but if we do use a wizard mind bomb we'll be able to enchant our onyx amulet and actually have an amulet of fury now which is super exciting so let's go do that all right here we go i'm so excited wizard mind bomb onyx amulet and i don't think it's a task but look at that it's so good plus 10 all accuracy plus 8 melee strength huge defense and prayer bonuses 
God, it looks so good. Okay, so I made a massive mistake. I forgot to buy the Obby Dagger and the... Uh, I just bought the noted versions. Why did I do that? The Obby Dagger and this thing. Equipping them is actually an 80-point task for each of them. I shouldn't have sold it back. You don't get much of a refund. That was a bad idea. Yeah, let's unnote this other one, and I believe it should be another 80-point task. That's 160 points I just, you know, kind of forgot about. All right, I'm going to go try to just do as many random tasks as I can do now. And uh, the first one up is going to be kill the cow fight queen. I hope I can do it with just ranged. I know her ranged defense can be a little bit nutty, but hopefully this is fine. I mean, we've got double defense. That should be good. Also, when did they put a permanent rope here? I don't remember that. I thought you used to have the diary. And oh, no, this isn't instanced. Oh, God. Yeah, we actually shredded through that phase one pretty well, even though it says, you know, it has protect range on. It basically just raises its range defense. So phase two should be absolutely amazing. We should be hitting as if it has no range levels or range defense at all. Oh, God, but I forgot the KQ still shreds you no matter what because this boss hates everyone. There we go. The queen is dead. What do we get? First kill, magic logs, and Sarah Brew. Very nice. That's our first Sarah Brew, actually, which is that's pretty neat, and there's 80 points for killing KQ. I'm finally doing it. I'm finally getting this task. No lines, no people to worry about. Lesser demon in the wizard's tower, done. I'm so happy I didn't have to sit here for 20 minutes. And there's a fossil island wyvern down. Ooh, I actually need that torso. I'm going to take that. Tortoise with riders down. That was a very easy 40 points, although I do feel a little bit bad. And there's the giant mole down, plus another medium task for 10 combat achievements. All right, time to kill a demonic gorilla. I'm actually really excited for this. We could totally get spooned to Zenite. And our gear is, uh, well, it's okay. Oh, I know I got chivalry now. I got to be using that. But yeah, I hope the dragon sim is good enough to carry us through a couple kills. Obviously, the, you know, ranged gear is going to finish him in like two hits. But yeah, we'll see how this works. I'm going to just do one trip and see how it goes. First demonic gorilla kill. We get some coins. And is that an 80 point task? Yeah, it's 80 points. Holy, there's a lot of people here. I did not expect this. There is defeat a wall beast. That was 40 points. Wow. Hey, I was hopping around, and look what I found here in Shiloh Village, a shooting star. And I think if I just mine it successfully one time, we'll get a task. There we go. Yep, mine a shooting star. 80 points on accident. That's awesome. Okay, my friends, I need this agility potion for for the quest, so I can either get the 25% proc from the uh, whatever production prodigy, or I can get the 5% proc from the amulet of chemistry. I just need one of them, please. Please proc no. <laughs> hey, there we go. Finally, the amulet of chemistry worked. Make a four dose potion. I know it's only a five percent chance, but man, that took a while. Yep, I just did the Brimhaven Agility Arena. We got a task, a collection log slot, a diary step, and now a toad flax. All right, I have everything I need for this quest except for an iron spear. It's like one in thirty something from Jogers, so we're gonna go take out some Jogers. What the hell is that? First kill. I'm not even kidding. First kill since we got down here. Joker Champion Scroll. Are you, are you serious? I don't even think those are boosted rate. I think that's a straight 1 in 5,000 god roll we just got. Uh, yeah, you can never say that I'm not lucky in this game sometimes. All right? just I mean, nobody was saying that. Literally nobody was saying that. But if you were thinking about saying it, you take it back. And there's the Iron Spear in like six kills. The game's just too easy. Sorry, guys. It's just way too easy. All right, while we're doing this quest, let me drop these marinated bones so I don't accidentally use both of them. And let's give these marinated Joker bones to a dog to get an 80-point task, dude. Wait, it didn't even give it to him? Are you serious? I didn't need to make two? Okay. Oh my gosh, this quest is tedious and the quest helper plugin's a little bit bugged. When I could not cheat this quest as well as I can the other ones. There's Tybo One Eye Trio. I didn't even see any XP. Oh, that's right. You don't get the XP right away. Anyways, the reason we did this quest is not just to help this beautiful jungle uh, village here because the, all the people here are super nice. It's actually so that we can talk to his son in this house right here. I believe it's Tinsy. And Tinsy right here sells the key to a lot of tasks. So Tinsy, I love you. You're fantastic. Please show me your shop and 60k cooking XP. I appreciate that. Doesn't he sell stuff? Is it? Is that the wrong brother? Tama, you, my boy. I know you, dude. You're my man. He's the fighting guy. No, it's not him. This was all just an elaborate bit to make you guys think I totally didn't remember. I remember these guys. I love these guys. I know this is the one that gives you like the fishing XP or something, right? And he's teaching me how to cook Karambuan, 60,000 fishing XP. Look at that. Raw Karambuan. And if I go like this, 
toggle the bank note. Look at that. Look at the amount of car I'm born I can get. Now, I've done some math in my head. It's not good math, but it's math. And I estimate that if I get about 20,000 of these and then cook them all, we should get about 50 million cooking XP. Now, that assumes we don't burn any, and I don't think you stop burning until you get to 99. So maybe I'll buy like 25,000 or something. But getting to 50 million cooking will get me a lot of points. And I know it seems random, but there really is a task for getting to 50 mil XP in every skill. So uh, let's do this. My foot pedal's getting a lot of use right now. All right, here we go. I have got 26,000 Karambwans. Let's see the XP drop when I cook them on here. Obviously, some of them are going to burn. And there's cooked 20 Karambwan in a row, a 20-point task, but that is obviously not the object of our affection. We're just going to sit here getting 70,000 XP every few game ticks if I can click, and that is a big if, but look at that. And they cook instantly compared to other foods where you actually have to have a delay. Uh, when you cook them, Karambwans do cook instantly as long as you use them on the uh, source of your fire. So yeah, we're going to fly through this XP. Let's get 99 cooking real quick. So I decided to test the XP rates. If you want to peep that side of the screen there and see that we're getting over 110 million cooking XP per hour. Uh, yeah, that is the reason I love fire sale. So you can trash fire sale gamers as much as you want. But we are out here getting 110 million XP per hour, and we're just living life, okay? If you guys want to see the absolute peak efficiency you can do this at, I'm going to try to demonstrate it for you so you can see it. Let me focus up for a second. Are you ready? Ready? Here we go. Look at that. That's so dirty. Look at the XP. It's so disgusting. Oh, my God. And after a very... And I mean very trying 10 minutes of my life. Here is 99 cooking and 200 points. But we don't get to stop there because next stop is 25 mil cooking for another task. Then 35 and then 50 mil. We're letting it all rip right now, baby. Oh, wait, where is it? There it is. I accidentally just closed out of my RuneScape window. 25 million cooking XP. We're halfway there, and my arm only hurts and is going numb a little bit, which means that uh, we've got a lot more pain to go through. Get ready for it. Are you ready to see the pop-up? There it is. 35 million cooking XP, and all we have to do is get 99 cooking basically again, and then a little bit of change, and we'll get 200 more points. This is so silly. I love it. Look at that. Who dropped that burnt Karambwan? Who's burning Karambwans in leagues, baby? I'm already almost a quarter way to 200 mil you know a lot of people say that they hope there is life out there in the universe i hope there's not because if they saw what i just did sat in complete silence for half an hour staring at runescape intensely cooking karambwans they'd probably be a little bit worried there is 50 million cooking xp ow my wrist hurts but man we just got like so many points. What was that? 800 league points for that? And that did not take that long. And now we have 21,000 Karambwans, which is just amazing. And I think we have a couple more cooking tasks to go. Like, I think there's one for cooking 50 swordfish and then for cooking 100 sharks. Maybe I already did the swordfish task, but we got to cook 100 sharks. You know, I like that I'm still burning these sharks at 99 cooking. And there's one more inventory of swordfish just to make sure it's not like 100 swordfish for the task. No, it's definitely not. All right. There we go. I think we're done with cooking. I think if we just go into the tasks list and type in cooking, there should be nothing else. Feed long ramble. I don't even know what that means. So I'm going to say we're done with cooking. Only 850 points to our next relic. We're getting so close I could smell it. Or maybe that's the 20,000 Karamb ones I cooked. Okay, we've got five hard caskets. I was thinking about running out the whole stack, but then I was like, wait a minute. I'm going to be so bored if I do nothing but hard clues for several hours. So let's, I don't know what this tab is. But it's my clue scroll tab now with garlic and the garlics to ward off bad lucks. Here we go. First hard casket. Ancient plate skirt. Pretty good. I'm hoping, yeah, that we get a couple more uniques in the next one. There's gain five unique items from hard clues. A hard clue. Gain a unique item from a hard clue. Lots of, uh, lots of tasks. Hard clues are going to be nuts. Black dragon mask. And we got an extra hard clue. All right, I'm really enjoying this. There's uh, more pop-ups than I can even keep track of. Oh, purple sweets is actually really good. I think eating these is a task. Yep, there's a task for eating purple sweets. I can't even hold all this stuff. We have an amulet of glory now. Wait, that's so good. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah because we can't make an amulet of glory. We got another hard class get back, and we just got more unique. So I don't know how many points we just got, but that was really fun. I think I'm going to do more hard clues soon. Time to head to a place that a lot of people dread and that we are going to end up spending a good amount of time at the Mage Training Arena now. I personally don't mind this content that much. I actually think Mage Training Arena can be quite fun, but I really don't blame people for not liking it. We're going to go ahead and go for a piece of the Infinity set and maybe Bones to Peaches. I'm considering it. All right, one five-round rotation gets us 90 points. Not bad, and that's only with a 5x multiplier. Once we get our next relic, I think it goes up to eight, so... uh 
Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. All right, I think that's about it. And as you can see by our time played down here, it only took about 20 minutes, I think, assuming all the time I've been here is for this. There's the Infinity Boots, confirm, and there we go. Wear one piece of the Infinity Rope set, elite task. 200 points for that. That's pretty good. Plus, we got some sick-looking mage gear for the future. All right, here we go. After half an hour of training Hunter, there is 150 red chins caught, and that's a 200-point task, which is great. And it got us some Hunter levels, which I kind of needed, because that skill is a bit lacking at the moment. I haven't been doing birdhouse runs. Listen, I can't even be asked to do them on the main game. All right, don't judge me. I've just remembered you can make javelin shafts with, uh, whoa. I did two of them in one tick back to back. Anyways, I remember you can make them from normal logs. So let's make all of our dragon javelin heads into dragon javelins to get another 200 points for fletching 100 dragon javelins. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. That only took three pickpocket or uh, three thieves, pick locks, whatever you want to call it, to get the diamond from the Dorgish Khan chest. It's very lucky. And now we have it. Look, 15,000 points. We can get a new relic i'm so excited this tier is insane and this is such a hard decision for me i've been thinking about this for the past few days and i have no idea what to choose so we got soul stealer which basically heals your prayer and health when you deal damage insanely good obviously weapon master which increases the rate your special attack regenerates and if you have no special attack regeneration you could just lose 25 hp and use a special attack absolutely nuts plus your specs are always 100 percent accurate and your special attacks have a minimum 20 hit of 20 percent of your max hit so it basically makes your specs nuts and then berserker which means every time you attack a monster with full health you always hit your max hit and for every hp you're missing your damage gets increased so they're all really good i'm gonna need to sit here for a minute and just think about this so i'll be honest soul stealer sounds so convenient and it's gonna make everything else in the league chill and berserker Berserker sounds pretty fun for training Slayer since you always hit your max hit on creatures with full health, but Weapon Master with the Xerite crossbow sounds absolutely hilarious. You know, your specs always hit, so every time you spec with the Xerite crossbow, it's going to be a 110 with ruby bolts. At least one 110. Obviously, if you get the double bolt proc, it's going to be 220 damage. Your special attack regens faster, so you can use the spec more. It always hits. And it gives, uh, what am I trying to say here? It gives extra specs if you want to sacrifice 25 HP, which I really want to try in Tombs of a Masket. Because imagine, you get the Ambrosia for the final fight against Wardens, and you can just ZCB spec over and over and over again. And when your health's too low, oop, that's okay. I'll just get full health again and start specking again. It sounds like a blast. It's not going to help me at all right now, because I don't even have a good spec weapon. Actually, wait a minute. Your specs are guaranteed to hit. That means the Dragon Dagger will actually be insane for training my melee stats. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to choose this. I really just want to see the Zerai Crossbow go absolutely ballistic. There we go. Tier 7 Relic unlocked, and we're about 9,000 points away from our final tier, which is an insane tier, and I still don't know what I want to pick from here either. And now we will be also be getting uh, 15, no, 16 times XP and 8 times minigame points. So basically, we have every piece of content in this game unlocked. We don't have to worry about not training our skills because it's, oh, it's not the most efficient XP rate. And we could do all the mini games with 8 times points multiplier. So I think I'm going to do that. I want to try some mini games out. It's time to test Weapon Master. We got the full melee switch here. We're going to throw on Chivalry and mess up these Anku. We don't get the task... Uh, you know, bonus in damage and accuracy because, well, because we don't have a Slayer Helmet, and I don't think we can get a Slayer Helmet, but yeah, look at these specs. Always hitting that damage is actually kind of nutty, I'm not going to lie, and I really need to go not be using my Diamond Bolts for a Slayer task because these are a precious commodity. But yeah, I think I want to do some PVM stuff for a little bit. I think I'm going to run some Slayer for a while, and then I might actually head over to God Wars Dungeon and try doing some bossing there because there's a ton of tasks we can get just for getting KC and for getting some of the drops from there. And I think with our current gear setup, and especially since we almost have 99 range, we'll probably be okay with that. And also, holy smokes, we're already almost at 40%. No, 60% spec regen. I forgot it's 30% spec regen every time instead of 10 and that stacks with the light bearer, by the way. So once we go to TOA and get a light bearer, we're going to be getting 60% every, what is that, every minute or something like that? That is absolutely nuts. And this is great because it means I don't actually have to train my melee stats. I could kind of just use my special attacks to train my melee stats. It's going to be awesome. Okay, you have to remember the power of this relic, though. Not only can I skip my spec back way faster, but remember, we can keep specking and lose our health instead. Look, there goes 25 health, but we got an extra spec out of it, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I kind of wish that you could have the Soul Stealer 
and the uh, Weapon Master Relic at the same time, because then, of course, you could heal off of your hits in between specs and then just go right back to spec, and it would be fun. But I know that if I get Onyx Bolts, which heal me when I'm attacking normally, I will be able to get that result because the Bolt proc chance is so high. So maybe we need to work towards getting some Onyx Bolts. All right, we're doing our first game of Pest Control, and unfortunately, our combat level is only 94, so we have to do the mid-range boat. Ew, am I right? I don't really know what the best way is for me to get up to... 95, I guess I could just keep leveling my stats up and do some more Slayer before we do this. But I really wanted to do Pest Control and see what the points are like. Obviously, everything dies so fast because everyone's all relicked out their ass. How many points do we get? 32 Void Knight Commendations for one game? Are you kidding me? Oh, and you get all of the pre- I don't have to do a novice game. Because when I do the intermediate one, it automatically completes the novice one. That's nice. So, uh... Yeah, I think we're going to chill at Pest Control for a little while. 32 points, and that's at the mid-range boat, and I don't even have any combat achievements done. Some of the combat achievements here actually make you get extra points from doing Pest Control, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. And Weapon Master coming in clutch, because I just melt absolutely any portal that drops here. Wait a second, this portal's about to drop, and just guaranteed hits on it. Once I get Piety, it's going to be even stronger, and then, oh no, I ran out of spec? That's okay, I still got health left. Alright, so that's four games of Pest Control done. We have 128 points. Time to see how much prayer XP we get from a hundred points here. Two hundred thousand. Okay, that gets us up to sixty-nine prayer. Uh that's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty damn good. I think I'm just gonna like stay here and train prayer for a bit. We definitely want to get at least piety. And then I think I might go for full void, because now that I think about it, since accuracy isn't much of a problem with my uh with my range relics, I don't really think think that anything but void would be good for me right now at least until i get like armadil or something and here's another 100 points into prayer another 200k xp and that's level 71 why don't we have piety because we need 70 defense what the hell i forgot about that okay i guess we'll start casting on defensive by casting i mean shooting my crossbow <laughs> okay wait i know how to get defense levels we just caught 150 red chins not that long ago, and we have Monkey Madness 2 auto-completed. I'm not going to the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels because I guarantee there's about 160,000 people and their mom arguing and saying rude things to each other trying to get a spot there, but I can maybe get a spot in the Monkey Madness 1 tunnels. So let's see if we could pull this off. And any Chinchampa now, there's 70 defense. Let's activate Piety for a hard task. Very nice. And honestly, I feel like Chinning is not even that good. I feel like the, the faster attack speed on the crossbow and on the, uh, what's it called, the MSB just makes it so that Chinning isn't even that good this league. So I might just start using the Magic Shortbow on long range just so I can start leveling up my defense to get those last few combat levels. And I think I'm also just going to go do some sl layer for now because i don't know pest control is great but i kind of want to be at the veteran boat because the points are just going to be that much better oh check it out that was our 10th slayer task done 375 points so now i should just be able to skip all of the bad tasks well that might not be true there might be a lot of bad tasks actually let's see what we get Ooh, jad i mean i kind of have to do that right if we're gonna get the jad pet plus i actually need to get a second fire cape so i can sacrifice the one that i have now okay i'll fight jad so i'm just doing some agility training i really want to get up to 70 so that we can kill zilliana and then get an orbital crossbow and i just got the test for completing 50 laps of a rooftop agility course i didn't realize that it counted up all your agility courses i thought it had to be 50 of the same one so that's really nice uh, I was a bit stressed about that. I was like, Ugh, I just want to train agility passively through fishing so I could skip this course. But nah, you don't have to. It's pretty chill. And uh, yeah, we're going to go up to 70. And I'm alking because we're so close to 90 magic. If we can get to 90, we can boost up to 93 and enchant Zenite jewelry so we can actually do some demonic gorillas and try to get a Zenite shard. Oh, wait, we just hit 70 agility. There we go. We actually have Commander Zilliana unlocked now. I'm really excited to fight her i kind of want to get to 1800 total first though so that we ha uh, get rid of the cooldown on last recall here i have a lot of skills that i probably could level up decently fast i only need 41 levels i'm considering it i might just go straight there anyways just because it sounds like a ton of fun but i am considering doing you know 41 more levels and with the power of tele alking for a few minutes we are now level 90 magic which means with a boost we can cast level 7 enchant, and I've also just realized that for some reason I don't have my cape on, so I'm actually going to have to teleport out of here with the generic teleport. But yay, 90 magic! Ah, uh, never mind, I want to kill Zilliana. This sounds like so much fun, so we're going to run in there. I, f I need to bring one more rope. Jeez, you need three ropes, one to get into the dungeon, and two just to get down to Zilliana. It's a little bit extreme in my opinion, but you know, I'm not the game dev. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and look at this dehyde I found in my bank from the hard clues. I didn't realize 
realize this. I should have been using these the whole time because now I got prayer bonus with the Bandos Coif and the Sarah Dehyde body and chaps. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let's go into Zillion. I'm pretty sure if I just hit open normal, it'll just put me straight into a room. Like, I'll just go straight in there. So here we go. We're going to go for our first Zillion kill in leagues. Uh, I don't know if I should just stand here and face tank it or try to run it all. And Ruby Bolts are probably only effective for a tiny bit of health. Oh, God. I'm taking so much damage. Okay. Yep. Run away. Oh, my God. That was a disaster. But there is a hard task for defeating Commander Zilliana. Now I only have to do it like 120 more times to get the crossbow. Oh, I just used the altar in the God Wars room to restore my prayer because I didn't want to have to teleport back to Lumbridge. And I just got restore 75 prayer at an altar. Very nice. Oh, I forgot that Zilliana drops Renar seeds. That's going to be so helpful for us, too, actually, because we... Don't have a lot of prayer potions, and so it's kind of awkward for me to restore prayer. And, uh, yeah, this is going to make my life a lot easier. Oh, uh, yeah, and she just straight up drops prayer potions as well. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I really appreciate that. This is a great first boss to grind. We're at 12 kills, by the way, already. It feels like it's just flying through. And, like I mentioned, it is a 1 in 127 to get the Armadale Crossbow. And then also 1 in 127 for the Sarah Hilt. So, I mean, we could get either of those at any time. I mean, if you want to spoon me a little bit, I won't complain, game. Oh, there we go. We finally got a unique, the Sarah Domin's Light. That's, like, really common. Same with the Sarah Sword. I think they're both just, like, so ridiculously common. It's not surprising to have gotten this. I guess we'll consume it to, uh... Well, no, let me hold on to this. I feel like it had an alternate use, and I just don't remember what it is. So I'm gonna look into it before I consume it. No way. Back to back with that Sarah Light. We just got the Arma Crossbow. Oh my god, yes! Oh, this is so good. This is like the best thing in the world to get spooned. Oh my, I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy right now to get spooned this. First off, obviously, we get a prayer bonus, which is pretty nuts. I think that actually gets us a task. Yeah, reach a prayer bonus of 15 for 40 points and then equip an orbital crossbow for 200 points. Goodbye, rune crossbow. It was good knowing you, buddy. We got to replace it here in the really, really scuffed gear tab. Oh, that looks so good. I'm so glad to retire this. And that means that those dragon bolts that we got from uh, Leviathan are actually now quite useful. I can enchant these to any bolt type that I want. And uh, that's just going to be amazing, obviously. So I can make diamond bolts out of this. I can make ruby bolts out of this. And they have 17 higher range strength, which is going to raise my max hit by so much. All right, there we go. We've got all of our new ammunition made. The diamond dragon bolts, the diamond ruby bolts, and the, di and the sorry, dragon diamond bolts, dragon ruby bolts, and dragon onyx bolts, which are just super good. I'm excited to try the onyx bolts out. I've never actually used these before in RuneScape ever, but they do have a life leech effect, which means that if I get a successful hit with the bolt proc it'll steal health from the enemies so this will kind of replace the soul stealer relic or whatever that i was kind of wanting to use but uh yeah i'm gonna need to get more onyx bolts which i can get from leviathan which is also where i'm gonna be getting my dragon bolts from so i'm basically just gonna end up doing a lot of leviathan hopefully we can get the pet i think that'd be so cool to get the leviathan pet in this leagues but yeah right now though I want to go back to Zilliana and test out our new bolts. I'm not going to waste the Onyx bolts here because those are rare. I'm going to save those for something like TOA probably. But yeah, let's go see how fast we can kill Zilli now. Oh, before we go in there, I forgot to mention the special attack the ACB has, which is just making the ACB so much better because I have Weapon Master. It deals an attack with double accuracy, which it doesn't matter. I'm already always going to hit. And doubles the activation chance of bolt effects, which is already doubled. So this is going to not guarantee a bolt proc, but make it very very likely. So let's go ahead and go into Zilliana and see how this goes. Of course, we're going to start off with two bolt procs. I have the ruby bolts on. Does it proc? Uh, I don't know if it proc. No, it didn't. But it did hit really well. Um, my max hit with the RCB, I believe, was something like 33 or 34. And we're already hitting that several times. I can already feel how much more accurate this crossbow is than the last one. We we're just absolutely shredding this poor woman here. And uh, yeah, the boss fight's already almost over, which is fantastic, obviously. Okay, come on, just a few more hits. Can we please hit? I could use Weapon Master to get another spec off, but uh, I think that might be a bad idea. Oh, I know the problem. I didn't use a range potion here, so that is why we're barely hitting at all. You know, I was going to record a clip saying I actually wanted to stay at Zilliana for a bit until we got a magic potion drop, but then we actually got it. And the reason I want the magic potion is because it gives a plus four boost to magic and 94 is the level we need to cast ice barrage which i think is a 200 point task so yeah with the acb in hand i think it's time to take a break from zilliana i am so happy to have this we're really just missing a couple more pieces of gear to start looking really really fire and maybe move on to tombs of a mascot which i'm insanely excited to do 
There is an 80 point task for casting Padawa Teleport, and then there is going to be another 80 points for casting Ice Blitz. Then if we boost our Mage level, we can cast Ice Barrage for 200 points. Absolutely beautiful. And if we can just get ourselves two Mage levels, there's actually another task for making, making a, a special Teleport Tablet, which is 200 points. So uh, yeah, just a little bit more Magic leveling. We'll just be steamrolling these points. All right, now that we have an ACB, let's go do our JAD task real quick. We're also 98 ranged. I wonder if we'll get to 99 through this fight, Caves. All right, let's see how fast we can shred JAD. We're going to start off with the Ruby Dragon Bolt specs to hopefully hit two Bolt procs. Yep, we did actually hit two Bolt procs. Oh, and I almost died right off the rip because I wasn't paying attention to the uh, attack style. Wow, well, that was rather embarrassing. At least I took it to be safe. And we should be able to just out DPS the healers, honestly. I will tag this little fella off because he's already on him. But there we go. Jad is dead any second now, right? Any second now. There we go. And there is uh, a near miss. I don't know what... Oh my god, we got a lot of tasks. We got a... Uh, Wow, we got a lot of tasks. So we got a uh, hard task for completing a speed task, hard task for 25 combat achievement points. We got the combat achievement easy tier done, which is an elite task. We got we got so much. Oh my god, that is a lot, a lot to read. I don't know what all of that is, but we did really good at the fight caves apparently. And I wish I could have seen the XP drop. I missed it, but we got all the way up to 77 Slayer from that. And now let's sacrifice our second fire cape to access the inferno and get ourselves another elite task. Sacrifice a fire cape. There we go. We're looking so good right now. And now I really want to try out these challenges. Looks like a couple people are over here. Wait, no, they're skilling filthy skillers absolutely disgusting but uh yeah there's actually some tasks for doing the zarket racks challenges here there's one for each that like each challenge and they're all 200 points no the first two are only 80 points cheeky but yeah so if we do manage to complete all these challenges we'll get an insane amount of points and what is this zarket racks special challenge the league only challenge i'm absolutely terrified of that i don't think i've done all of these in the main game but basically what it is is you just fight more and more jads like the first challenge i think is just one jad and the second one's two three four five and then finally six jads God knows what the special challenge is. Well, there's the first one down. That was pretty easy. And that's an elite combat task. So I wonder if I'll be able to do the medium combat tasks. I know my area is not the best for combat tasks. There are some other areas with more, but maybe we'll be able to pull it off. All right, on to the double jads. And there's the double jads done. Also done first try, which is an elite combat task again, and then a hard task for the leagues. Triple Jads is where I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. That's just the standard Inferno. I should be able to do it. It's just, uh, wow, the stress starts piling on big time. Hey, there is the third challenge done. I think that's a 200 point task. Yeah, no, it's a master combat task and an elite task. And look at what we hit during that level 99 range, which is also 200 points. Very, very cool. Uh, it took me two tries to do the Triple Jads, embarrassingly. I did die, I know, and I did have to actually eat during that kill. Those minions were messing me up. I could deal with one set of minions without eating, but, uh, man, they shred through this garbage armor that I've got on, so, uh, time to re-gear. We're just gonna keep going until I hit, like, a hard brick wall, basically, that I can't continue through, and I think that might be five jads, if I have to guess. I think I could handle four, since I did the triple jads in two tries. I'm sure I could get the fourth one done, but five is gonna be quite something. Oh, my heart was racing during this kill, but we managed to pull it off there is four jads done very cool that's awesome how long did that take two minutes 48 not bad and there's a hard task for 50 combat achievement points so wait the easy tier is an elite task and then the 50 combat achievement points which is above the easy tier is a hard task somebody make it make sense please i just don't understand anyways there's the five jad challenge though there's another 200 points i'm sorry the four jad challenge and now we're on to the five jad challenge which I'm not confident that I'm going to be able to do. That one was so stressful. Dude, it's just so stressful. I'm like six attempts in. I actually don't think I'm going to be able to do this one, unfortunately. I'm going to keep trying for a little bit just because I'm having so much fun. But I just want to show you guys how stressful this is. It's so insane. There's so much going on at once. It's just hard to keep track of all of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, nope, I'm dead. Dude, I cannot believe I finally killed one. And then I just got completely distracted and messed up, dude, no! Oh my goodness, have I actually done it. Dude, I'm freaking out so bad right now. Please just die. My heart is pounding. No way, we just did the 5 jet challenge. No way. And we also got a hard task for uh, completing 5 speed tasks. I guess there was a speed challenge for doing the 6th challenge in a certain amount of time. Oh my god. 
Holy crap, dude. So if I can complete the five jet challenge, do you think I can complete the six jet challenge? Now that is an interesting question. All right, so I just gave it a shot. It is pretty hectic, but I actually am feeling like this might be a little bit, not easier, but more manageable than the five jet challenge because there's no weird tick delay in between everything. So let's give this a shot. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up a flick there. I know where I messed up and I missed out on a healer. But as you can see, that is the uh, rhythm of it. It's actually really fun and it's actually got a rhythm to it because it's every single tick. So I think this is kind of going to be fun to learn. I'm going to give it another shot or two. Oh, dude, I probably couldn't have even finished it because these minions deal so much damage to me. But I defeated three Jads and I think that's... Uh, Pretty good sign that I can actually finish this, so I think I'm going to try it a couple more times. I'm going to try really hard to corral the minions in a way to where they're not actually, like, all hitting me because they were dealing so much damage to me at a certain point. But hey, I made it to three jads left. That's pretty good. No, dude. Oh, I had it in the bag, too. I was so focused, and I just messed it up, man. That's so sad. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes, I actually did it. There's another elite task and a grandmaster combat task. Oh, oh my god, yes. We can metamorphosize the Jad pet or something like that. And then there is the league only challenge. I've looked it up on YouTube. No, no way. No way in hell am I doing that. But hey, I completed the six Jad challenges. We got all those uh, combat points, task points. I'm so flustered. I don't even know what to say. I can't believe I did that. Really didn't think I had it in me, but now I am very proud of myself. And so I think I'm going to end things off here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you could please press all the funny buttons down below that make the algorithm happy, I'd appreciate that a lot. And in the next video, I think we could probably reach Adamant tier at least, maybe even Rune. I'm not playing all day, every day, like a lot of the amazing other YouTubers, which I recommend watching their League series. They are great. But I'm going to keep taking it easy and just having an absolute blast like I have this time around. So thank you all once again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.